Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. My name's McCall and I am going to be walking you through illustrating and writing a children's book. And I've never done this before. I've done lots of drawing, lots of painting, um, lots of sculpting, but I've never published a children's book and it's on my bucket list. And our family had a really funny dog named Boo Radley. And so he passed away last week and I was like, this is it. I've got to make this book about him. I really just, he was such a funny dog. And um, I really love animals anyway. And so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to, to do this book. And I wanted to make it anyway for my family. Anyway, I'm just gonna walk you through the different steps. Maybe some of you have been thinking about writing and illustrating a children's book. And so I'm just gonna kind of show you the different steps to take to make it possible and kind of how I go about like finding a place to print, where I'm gonna publish it, and also just the creation aspect, which is what I'm good at. I am good at the creation aspect, but not so good at the publishing aspect. So we'll see uh, what I decide to do there. There's a ton of options these days for that. So when we get to that, um, we can talk more about it. Also, in the comments section below, let me know some questions you have about illustrating children's books, um, what style you want to illustrate in, and maybe I can help you learn how to create that style, um, whether that's like a loose watercolor pencil kind of style or a really um, tight uh, acrylic <laughs> painting or even you know using Procreate on an iPad to create those illustrations. But before we even figure any of that stuff out, we need to start at the very, very beginning. So let's start with step one. You need a story. You need a fun and engaging story. It doesn't have to have an underlying moral or um, message. Really, it can just be a fun adventure that kids will want to go on and that you would want to go on with them. Um, hopefully, all of you have had a chance to read children's books. I've been reading books to my kids before they go to bed for eight years, but there were some books we read over and over and over, and there are some books we read once and I was not interested, in, and they weren't interested in ever reading them again. Let's just talk first about what makes, what makes a good children's book, and this might be different um, depending on who you talk to, but for me, the books that I like are um, illustrated well and they're fun and engaging and even if they're not as fun and maybe there's more of a serious kind of undertone they still take me take me on an adventure helen oxbury books she is the one who illustrated um we're going on a bear hunt and she also did the big bad the three little wolves and the big bad pig she has a bunch but those are the ones that we really like to read i love the illustrations of those and the stories are so engaging and they're such a fun Especially The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig is such a fun twist on that story. Think about your story. Is it fun? Is it engaging? Um, would you want to go on this adventure? Would kids want to go on this adventure? Also, um, research illustrators that you like. I like Helen Oxbury, so I've been listening to some podcasts, just one that I found of her, and then reading some different things that she's written for, or like interviews that she's had. And she said, you know, a lot of her books will have like a black and white illustration page and then color. And it's just kind of to give the eyes a break. And I never had thought about that, but sometimes books are so bright and so colorful and there's so much going on that it's kind of too much. Think about a story that you want to tell and make sure that it's a fun story or engaging and if you need words or if you don't. So what I like to do is just to do a bullet point list of like the story. So I'm not writing paragraphs or sentences, just like what happens? What are some things I, I see happening? And then in the end, or even just a, a sentence about what happens. Oliver Jeffers has some super fun books to read and some, we really love reading them together. And we really like one called Lost and Found and it's just about a boy who finds a penguin who he thinks is lost and he's trying to get him home. So think about just a storyline of what you're trying to do in Julia Donaldson, her books rhyme, and I, I love her stories, The Gruffalo, so good. Stick Man is really fun and engaging to read as well. So your story. And then this, the second thing you need to do is to come up with your main character. So who is your main character? What do they look like? Um, what are some of their characteristics? What are some of the things that they're gonna do? 
And once you kind of figure that out, then you need to start into character development. And I kind of think that the style of your book needs to tie into this third step. And that is the step that I'm on right now. So I have my kind of storyline, I have my main character, and now I'm just trying to develop him. And since my main character is actually taken from real life, I have tons of pictures of him and I even have videos of him. And so I have a lot of things to choose from, but I still have to choose what style I'm gonna draw in. And I kind of like to think of what colors you're gonna be using, like choose like a kind of a palette to, to go from. Um, one thing that's important when you're illustrating a children's book is continuity, but you want it to flow. Like it, the main character should be identifiable in each page. It shouldn't change that much that you don't know who it is. So what you want to do is once you kind of figure out how you want to draw them in that style, then think of the different situations that main character is going to be in and try to just sketch some ideas of how that might look. And maybe you need to use um, some pictures for practicing and um, gather some images. Um, but what I like to do to figure out the style is just, I like to look at children's books and not even just children's books, but art and illustration and find styles that I like. So I really like Jacques on Lady and the Tramp and he's a similar dog. And so I just wanted to see how they handled like his mustache beard, you know, all that cool hair those dogs have by their nose. And so I just did some sketches of him and then I just found a few other ones from other books like Harry the Dirty Dog. And then I just started sketching also some picture from pictures that I have of this dog. And you do not have to sketch from pictures or any reference. Just You can just totally use your imagination. Um, there's so many different styles, but you do kind of need to kind of zero in on one that you like and that would lend itself to your story. And one other thing I think that is important when you're thinking about style and your main character and character development and maybe even the mediums that you're going to be illustrating your book in, so that would mean like watercolor, marker, um, digital, what I would do is focus on your strengths. So what do you like to do? You know, if you really love to do charcoal drawings, um, maybe you shouldn't do it in marker or crayon. I mean, you can still stretch yourself, but I would choose something that you um, feel comfortable with and um, something that you have an ability to do. It doesn't mean you can't try something new and actually trying something new might be really fun and have some really fun results. So you definitely, all of the advice I'm giving you, you can break it. You can totally do it differently and you'd probably come up with a really great children's book. But these are just the steps that I'm using. So character development, that is going to be your step for this first week and that's what I'm going to be working on is really narrowing down this main character and with that, the style, overall style of your book and um, design, and then also like what medium you're gonna use or mediums you're going to use. You don't need to just choose one, but um, just kind of figure out what you wanna do and then have some, I would have 10 different sketches of your main character doing different things that you want them to do in the book. So 10 different sketches of your main character and then I would also do maybe four different either backgrounds or other objects that will be in it because you don't have to have a background at all. Like the characters can just be floating or just a solid background, but maybe there's going to be some other things in your book. So five other objects in the, that you'll need and try to do them in that style with the mediums that you choose. So that is your homework. Um, are those 10 sketches of the character and then five, uh, five other objects in your book and do them with the medium that you're going to be using and then kind of in the style. So narrow down what you're gonna be using and kind of the colors you're going to be using. And that's it for this week. So um, next week we'll talk a little bit more about your storyboard and how to get that to work. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll just give you some clips of what I've been doing. And again, in the comment section below, let me know what kind of styles you wanna learn how to do. You can find the homework below and some different links to children's books that I really enjoy. Maybe I'll even post some links to some interviews with illustrators. And um, on my channel, I'm going to really get into illustration. So all of the, my liked videos 
are going to be interviews on YouTube um, with illustrators. So that might be something kind of fun to look at too. And uh, good luck, and I look forward to reading your comments. That'll really help me um, with this next part. And maybe if I need to take a little detour and show you some illustration techniques, um, I can. Just show me what you're interested in learning. And have a wonderful day.